Hi, Rosemary Cunningham here again. I'd like to tell you about a very important aspect of this Heal Your Money Stuff course, which is the Money Type Cards. I send you a set of these and they're yours to keep. And they are extremely revealing. They're designed by Kendall Summerhawk, who's the architect of this course. And um, I'll just fan them out for you. Hope you can see them okay. And basically, we all make our decisions around money to satisfy a need. And we all have different needs in different proportions. And when I send you these, I ask you to look at them and examine them to see which card resonates with you. And the different types of card are a love card. So that's someone who makes their decisions around money about a need for belonging. Then there's a recognition card. So making decisions around someone who needs respect or to, just that to be recognized. Um, a lot of our parents' generation are the security card. If you grew up in the war, you felt as though, well, it was true, everything could disappear overnight. People came home and their house had disappeared and all their belongings with it. It's a security, a need, deep need for security in your life. And it still shows up a lot with people, um, maybe those who tend to almost micromanage their finances and, um, and are so contracted, maybe they can't really enjoy their money. I do see this sometimes and then and then it's about giving helping someone find freedom to really enjoy having money sounds to some of us that sounds impossible but it's a big reality for some there's the value card that's about that's for those who make their decisions around money about a need to feel significant and valued by other people and this is very common amongst women someone who always puts everyone first everyone else first, um, maybe someone who lend people money even though they haven't got any themselves. That's about a value card person. And the last card is status. And this typically would be those of us who like to have the latest iPhone, you know, maybe the one they've got still fine but there's a new one out and they've got to have it. Someone who loves, loves, loves their designer clothes, that would be uh, a status card person, or that will be their primary card anyway. And this is someone who kind of needs to be validated in every area of their life and needs these symbols of abundance to prove that. There's a lot of information on these cards and we work through them together. And I encourage you to use them. Some of the, the ladies I worked with before, they put them on their fridge and or by their, their desk and they look at them every day. And I'll just tell you briefly, my primary card is the love card and on the back of this card we have the challenge. The challenge is self-acceptance and I would totally agree with that. That has been my lifelong challenge about thinking of myself as an okay kind of person. I'm doing alright now but you know it's, it's one of those things that comes up again and again and again. It's my Achilles heel if you like. And um, there's a list of disempowering behaviours here. So these are the things that I tend to do, or particularly around money, that really aren't serving me, really aren't making me powerful. I'll give you an example. Um, easily distracted or disenchanted with people or things. I'm not a great finisher. I'm a fantastic beginner, but I'm not a great finisher. And also here, um, in denial about debt. That was absolutely me. I had no idea what was going on. To sit there and actually add the columns up, oh, that was frightening, so I didn't do it. Now I know exactly what I owe, believe me. And then we have the empowering bits, empowering actions, things you can do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to feel and be powerful around money. And as I'm sure you're getting, if you feel good about money, that is when it starts getting easier and the flow starts going. And it's not just the flow of the money, it's the flow of the creativity and the ideas to get more. And the flow of everything good into your life. And uh, what else have we got here? So my empowering action for me, one would be to write a bold savings goal 
and a timetable for achieving it. Well, I was a classic person who never saved any money. I hadn't saved money since I was in my teens. That was a long time ago. So this is something I do now. I do have a bold savings goal and I make sure everything I earn, a percentage of it goes into my savings. Some of it's for long-term savings, which I'm not going to touch. Some of it is for savings to use. That would have been unthinkable. And even when I'm having a low month, not much coming in, I still put some money aside because it's what I do. And it creates a brilliant habit. And it's, it's a way of being, it's a way of thinking that has made me totally transform my finances and also other areas of my life. I now feel good about money and this has been a large part of that, as has the whole course. So these are yours to keep when you sign up for the course and I send you some other goodies as well which will help you on your way. And I'm going to use all the best bits of my healing work with this course because this is about healing your money mindset and healing is what takes us forward what how can I put it it's what will give us the permanency here and and the feel good and the well-being and oh, I'm, I'm lost for words here. Anyway, I do hope this was interesting for you. This is the last of the little four videos. If you'd like to know more or you'd like to sign up, which I would love you to do from my heart, I'm doing this because I really believe that this will make a big difference to the world as we know it. We've all been, it's been a difficult time around money for everyone and it could be a lot, lot easier with some small changes and this is the kind of thing that should be taught in schools so if you'd like to know more please ring me 01702 or you can email me info at rosemarycunningham.co.uk if the course has already started it's not a problem you can join us now we'd love to have you you can catch up and you can join the calls every week or you can listen to them another time and I will make sure that with the question and answer calls, you'll be there. And also you'll have your individual coaching time with me as well. Thank you very much for watching and listening. I do hope you'll join us. And um, goodbye for now.